So this is Corona Extra. I've had Corona Extra before. I think it's a really nice beer or lager, could you call it? Um, and recently I found out that the sales of Corona Extra have actually been down because people have been put off from buying it because the name is similar to coronavirus. And I guess I, I, I don't really understand that because, you know, it's like, okay, the name is uh, similar to the, well, pretty much the same as the, as the name of the virus, but obviously it has nothing to do with the virus. You know, it doesn't change the taste of the beer in any way. So I can't really understand how anyone could be put off so much from actually like drinking the beer just because, you know, I mean, it's just a name at the end of the day. So I don't really understand that. Um, but yeah, it's called a beer cocktail pack, which is a pack of lies actually because uh, it makes it sound like you you get all the stuff to make the cocktail but you don't you just get the glass the beer bottle and um, a manual inside and um, so you have to add something to this but you don't get it in the pack but when it's calling it a beer cocktail pack it might, makes it sound as though you get everything in the pack so let's see so it says paradise served in a glass and it says uh, Plus Corona Cocktails Recipe Guide. And so that's how it's meant to look. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make that because I don't have the uh, the right ingredients. So it contains 330 milliliter bottle, one corona pint glass, and a corona recipe guide. And yeah, so like when I saw this in Tesco when I saw the glass, I thought I've gotta get this because I just love the way the glass looks and be another cool looking glass to add to my collection so let's open this up so the bottle, I've actually taken the bottle out of this pack and put it into the freezer for about half an hour just to get it really really cold so I can't remember how much this cost maybe about seven quid so there's your <clears throat> bottle of Corona Extra which is absolutely tiny There's your glass, which, wow, that just looks awesome. And it's kind of frosted up a bit because it's been in the uh, the fridge. And then you get this, uh, this guide, Corona Cocktail Recipe Guide. Um, okay, well, let's, let's take a look at the glass first. So it says Corona Extra. So this, uh, this drink, it comes from Mexico, 1925. Get you a closer look at that. And then there's the back. Really nice. Pine glass. Nothing on the bottom, I don't think. Oh, wait. There's like a really faint picture on the bottom of, uh, of this, like, crown. Don't know if you're able to see that. And here is the drink itself. So yeah, it's kind of it's like the label it's kind of printed on. So I think it's been a long time since I've had this, but I think it kind of has like a hun uh, yeah, like a honey flavour. Maybe beer from Mexico. I just think this is really nice. Four point five percent. All right. Well, let's crack it open. Oh, and there's the uh, the top there. So there it is. So it doesn't even fill up the glass all the way. It's just a bit over halfway. But yeah, really nice looking glass. It's interesting how it kind of it kind of goes inwards at the top. But yeah, let's uh, see what it smells like. Man, that is so nice, kind of like a honey golden ale or something. Kind of, I guess the smell kind of reminds me of wheat fields a bit. Not that I think wheat fields smell of uh, of honey, but it has like kind of a wheat field 
uh, slash honey kind of aroma. Let's uh, see what it tastes like. Yeah, I can definitely taste um, some very light honey in it. It's really nice. I wonder if there's actually honey in the ingredients. Um, okay, I'm looking at the ingredients now and there's no mention of honey. It's just water, barley, malt, maize, rice, hop extract, stabiliser, antioxidant, and that's it really. Yeah, like a kind of a golden ale slash honey ale flavour. Flavour is, is quite light. It's just a really nice uplifting um beer or lager, you know. If you know if you if you like most lagers they all just kinda taste the same and it's like they don't really have much of a taste at all. Um so if you want if you'd like to have a lager which has a bit more of a flavour, a bit more character, then I totally recommend this. It's just really, really nice. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. It's absolutely awesome. So let's have a look at this recipe guide. <clears throat> nice picture there. So this is something I'll keep. Cocktails. Yeah, so here's your... Talking about the glass there, garnish, ingredients, directions. Cool. So maybe I'll try making one of these one day. Not really sure, to be honest. So, th so this one is called Corona Corogito, I think. Um, this one is Corona Sunset. Looks like it's got pips in it or something. It's kind of odd. Um, Corona Sour. That that sounds quite nice. I do like. Sour flavoured things. Corona Sunrise. I didn't realise there'd be this uh, many uh, like recipe guides. I thought it was just going to be for like one. I thought that it would just be a guide for like one cocktail drink. Not loads of different ones. So Corona Sunrise, if, if I'm not mentioned already. And yeah, that's about it. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I mean, £7 does seem a bit, bit expensive for what you get. But I'm still really happy with buying this because at the end of the day it's a really nice beer I love the glass you know it's another interesting looking glass to add to my collection and then you've got, got this uh, pretty cool cocktail guide that'll keep and I may try some of them out so uh, yeah that is pretty much it thanks for watching